Okay, so we're starting a new series on Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Now, if you're not familiar with this game, I've played a tiny, tiny bit of it. And it is a strategy tactics game, uh, very similar to the XCOM series, which is like that sort of strategy tactics, but turn-based. So you, you'll get to you'll get to see it as we're playing. It's not a problem. We're actually going to go in on this game as normal because I'm not great at strategy games. I'm not overly great at tactical games, and we don't want to keep seeing me die, especially for this purpose of the series. Maybe I'll do it on hard if I weren't doing it as a video series. So this game has a very strange premise in that it it seems to be set after some sort of nuclear disaster or natural disaster expert i'm not too sure i've literally only played the first 10 minutes of the game previously when it was on game pass and exactly that's what i'm doing now again but this time i actually want to get into the game so i've really enjoyed it and i do enjoy these sort of games somewhere east of the ark another day another mission risking our necks for the ark you know i ask myself ducks why are you out here and you know why the Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. So as you can see, straight away the game is rather strange, because we are in control of anthropomorphic animals. Trust me, um, I'm not annoying. I am. Um, here's Mr. Pig, and the other one, as he previously he said, is Ducks. I can't remember annoying. Mr. Pig's name. What's wrong with you? So, if I remember We're correctly, I did play it a while Keep ago. Your eyes this open game and is mouth shut. sort of yeah, not open told me that 9, times but it's got. It. You sort of explore in this world or each section of a map. And when you come to a combat encounter, it goes into a tactical battle. But there are other elements that sort of you can get involved with regarding the game. Um, it's this. not just a straight up beautiful. tactical battle. You just can, as beautiful. just shown then, there is the option this to hold. This going to make us you heroes can, back at the Ark. Sort of, yeah. that's the best way to explain it. You can sort of hide in the world and take people on one by one without going into full blown combat. It gets really strange. Oh, turn that flash off quickly. So as you saw then, the ring around the marauder got bigger and smaller as you show your flashlight, because you don't want to be shown. So we're going to slowly look at getting into combat with these guys. Um, not going to straight away get into combat with them. Can I sneak around? No, I can't. So I'm going to... Oh, okay. Best, way, best place to go. I'm going to hide... Mr. Pig here, and I'm gonna ambush straight in there with Mr. Duck or Ducks. Sorry, Mr. Pig and Ducks. So already, if I move to there, I will cause an alert. If I move to here, I won't cause an alert, but he'll be out of range. I'm gonna pop into here. The question is, can I shoot them from this? Yes, I can. 75% chance. Fingers crossed. We can take this on. Brilliant. What? A Go on, Mr. Duck. So good. So, already... Okay, now you can see I am out of combat. The reason I'm out of combat is because I managed to take on the person without being seen. I managed to take on the person without being seen, but also um, I stealthily dispatched of him. Now I'm going to ambush from here, just in case. So I am kind of in hiding, I believe. Yes. So I'm in hiding, but I've got no line of fire. Brilliant. So as Mr. Duck, can I just Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to switch between them. Yes, we'll bring... Bormin is his name, not Mr. Pig. I apologise, Mr. Pig. 75% chance if we kill him, he'll take off all his health as shown. Come on. Great shot. Straight into the chest. Who else wants Already out of combat. Never and we can now put our flashlight back on. That is, that was a great way of dispatching. I never did the container, I never did it that well last time. Let's have a bit up. Best way to go, return to the R is this way. 
So it'll be interesting to see. What really draws me into this game is the idea of the story. Why are we anthropomorphic animals? Is it animals versus humans? It, it, what was the accident that took place? Hold it. Ghouls. I don't like the look of that big one. No, nor do I. We have to be sneaky. Okay. Here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them. Okay. Red Skulls. Enemies with a Red Skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Avoid Red Skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. Okay, let's get around these. Now, he did say take off the flashlights. We've got our flashlight off. So, if you turn your flashlight off, it automatically seems to toggle sleep. But these two are very, very high level. So, we don't want to be facing them. Which is good. This game has that tense feel that you don't really get with these tactical games. I'm gonna be real. Oh. I don't think I should be doing. Oh, that, I don't even think that was worth it. Okay, we seem to be out of the danger zone now, anyway, which is quite nice. We can carry on running. Oh, we can travel. Nice. So, already the game has an unusual feel to it, and it feels really nice to control. It feels really nice in the hand. Um, but it's got an unusual feel, and because of the premise of the game, because of what it shows and offers up early on, it really makes you think, what else is there ahead? Like, what is the purpose of this game? We are apparently, um, did he say we were stalkers? Are we uh, scrap, like maybe searching for scrap and other things? I'm not too sure. But at the moment, definitely. The um, up ahead. Home, sweet home. A nice premise oh, to that elevator when kick I off it. the game. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get, get another grog, grog with the boys. boys. Foot massage. Oh, it's gonna be great. Oh no. A campsite. Looks like I lived here. Lived here and, and died here. Med kit. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Okay, we'll go up through this way. So there was definitely some sort of accident or disaster that happened wiping out people people you know this arc as i'm guessing the there's a goes cabin up ahead that. definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it so we run in guns blazing too dangerous if we're sneaky we can get into a good position a good position keeps us alive turn off your flashlight so this game is all about survival, as shown. Sneaking. If you are undetected, you can scope out enemy positions to kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. This can tip the balance of the fight into your favour by reducing overall enemy numbers. So it's all about survival, which definitely suggests to me there is a common theme throughout this game about, um, well, survival, but it seems that you're going to have to band together. This arc, or reminiscent of say Noah's Ark and other games like Rage and stuff talk about an Ark. It's definitely Hungry. going to be some Hungry. form. I guess we take the Ark. No, take you can't the take the Ark. <laughs> so again, a lot of these mutants seem to be living in go. the Ark. Rip their hearts. So Crush I'm going to hide you there. Hey, hey. Hear that? Hear that noise. No, no, no. So an Ark Stop. is going to be Hungry. some safe haven, Chill. I'm guessing. But also, mm -hmm. no, I'm going to continue. Oh, 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 okay, so we've got another enemy there. Oh, God, my. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. Mr. Butcher. You stay back. Okay, so, by the looks of things, we have a vantage point. Which seems to be. Okay, so I'm going to hide with ducks for a moment. I'm going to wait for that butcher to come back. Because I'm going to try and do what we did before and take the butcher out stealthily. And I've also got Mr. Pig over there keeping down the fort just in case any of them also move. I'm going to wait for this butcher out. This could take a while for the butcher to come back, but it's going to be worth it. Ok, 
Hey, he might not be coming back anytime soon. Okay, so here is our butcher. Now, I'm going to try and take out the butcher. Okay, 75% chance. Let's go for it because at the end of the day, what else have we got? Let's see what we can please. Yes! Nice shot there, Doug. Nice night. So, because we managed to take him out, we are back into a stealth position. Level up. When the stalker team levels up, each mutant gains mutation points. Mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combat mutations or improve your stalker's stature to health or movement range. So he has wings, <laughs> which I would love to see a duck, a duck with wings. Um, we're going to go back into an ambush mode and we're going to take the shot again. 100% chance and he will kill him. So we won't be seen straight away. Nice. I'm the death dealing, soul stealing, stalking machine. So baby. we haven't been seen. Oh, the enemy heard you. So I am going to activate Bormin and I'm going to run him into this cover. We're going to be seen. We know that is fine. And I am going to 50% chance. Okay, 75% chance. We either way we won't kill him, so I'm definitely going to take the opportunity to um, take most of his health off anyway. Nice. So he's going to move very close and then take a shot. Okay, that was quite, that took quite a lot of damage. But we're going to blow his face off at close range. Go on, Mr. roll. Brilliant. Get your ass. Okay, so, oh, a boom box. Artifact collected. So use artifact points to buy upgrades in the art. Brilliant. Look at this beauty. Wait for hand grenade. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button and it goes boom. <laughs> Don't be putting box. So, did you notice the word they used was the ancients, which I'm guessing is going to suggest. Um, well, it's going to be the suggestion that it's people like me and yourselves. It, it's it's going to be a generation that came before. The ancients used a boombox. So, this is going to be obviously set in the future because we haven't got pigs and ducks that can talk and yell and shout and scream so i'm assuming that's i'm assuming that the ancients are gonna this well we know it's set in the future but i'm assuming the ancients are us talking about a boombox which we are aware of especially if you were born prior to the 90s of course the world ends you did it to us When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader. The Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave. Because outside these walls lies the zone, the never ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments, your hubris and arrogance. 
What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says.